Hey everyone, imagine you have a list of items, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and you want to confirm that this list contains an item with a given text. For example, you want to confirm that this list includes an item with text 3. This is one possible solution. You get the list element using scigit command, you find all ally elements using sci-fi command, then you get the list of jQuery items. You convert this list into an array, you extract the inner text from each element, and when you use a chai assertion, expect an array to include a given text. Fine, it passes, but I don't think this test is optimal for a couple of reasons. One, you don't see the array itself. Of course, before running an assertion, you can log it into the command log. You can log the list, but it doesn't show the full list because it actually just prints an array of five elements. You can stringify the list yourself, that will give you a full list, but we're not interested in that, right? We're interested in printing the list in the assertion. So what can we do here is a little trick, because we're using chai. We can say chai config, it's a global object, truncate threshold, and just give it a longer length. Now you can see the full array. But even this test is suboptimal. Imagine that instead of a static list, the list is created dynamically. Maybe it's loaded by replication. So let me modify this list a little bit. So I'm going to remove a couple of items. So we start with a much shorter list. And notice the test fails right away. It doesn't even retry searching the elements, right? Because side then, where we actually check the list, never retries. Never goes back and says, give me the new items. Maybe there are more items now on the page. So even if application adds new items, which it can do like this, right? Maybe after one second, the application goes ahead and gives you the full list, including the item you're looking for. By then, the task has already finished because site then never retried. Here's a better approach to finding an item on the page with a given text. Site contains command list li, right? We're looking for this selector with text 3, and we don't need anything here. And notice the test is blue and spinning, and when the new item is added, then the assertion passes the command successfully. So site command contains, just keep searching and searching and searching until either it times out or that item is really added to the page matching the selector. Okay, you might say, well, what if I have multiple items to check? So maybe you're searching for three, four, one. How do you do that? Well, easy. It's just JavaScript. So you say items for each item. You call site contains and you just give it the item. And what does it do? It queues up three different commands. The first one really waits for that item to appear. And then four and one are also found really, really quickly. So use site contains. I think it's a pretty powerful command. And in most cases, does what exactly what you need without any flake.